all, this is Laura. So today the recipe that I'm gonna share with you is a chocolate ding-dong cake. I know you're familiar with these little ding-dongs that you can buy at your grocery store, your convenience store, with the chocolate top, the chocolate cupcake, and the white filling. Well, we're gonna make this in a large cake version. Delicious. Now, I do have a previous video where I do make these actual cupcakes. I will link that up for you here on the top, or it will be in the description box, so go take a look at it there in case you want to make it for like a party style and people can just grab individual portions. They are delicious. But today, we're going to make a full-size cake. I hope you enjoy it, and thank you for spending time with me today. If you are new here, I surely would love it if you considered hitting that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And don't forget, if you enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. That really helps me out here on the channel, guys. I really would appreciate it. Okay, well, enough with the talking. Let's get started. Okay, we are going to start this recipe off with our... I'm going to show you the pans I'm going to use. I'm going to use two 9-inch pans. I did spray them. And I do apply a parchment paper just for so that they don't stick. If you don't have a parchment paper, make sure you sprinkle flour and shake off the rest so that the, your cake does not stick to the pan. So two 9-inch pans, round cake pans. We're going to take our flour, our cocoa powder. I like to use, on this particular cake, I do like to use the Ghirardelli Premium Baking Cocoa Powder. I feel like it's worth the extra, you know, 50 cents or whatever they charge us for it because the flavor is a lot more intense than the regular cocoa powder you get in the little can. I would suggest to, you know, use this. This is really, really good. Okay, we're going to use the salt, baking powder, baking soda. We're going to give this a good little mix. This cake is pretty easy. You know, I like to get my ingredients out so that I don't forget anything because I have been known to forget stuff sometimes and well then you ruin your recipe. So get all your ingredients out on the board, you know, first. Okay, so everything is real nice and incorporated here. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to put in our sugar and our butter, our softened butter, very important. We are going to give this a good mix until it's very light and fluffy. Okay, we are going to drop in our eggs one at a time, mixing in between each egg. Okay, we're going to add in our vanilla. And as always, I always scrape down the beaters and the bowl just to make sure that everything is getting mixed nice. Okay, we're going to start adding in our flour a little bit at a time, alternating it with the milk. So I'm going to put about a third of this in there. And start slow so you don't get a cocoa bath. gonna stop it it's not quite done yet but I want to make sure we scrape everything off see how the cocoa gets stuck to the bowl and one last time okay and that's it okay, we're gonna divide the batter into the two pans and then we're gonna bake them at 350 for about 35 minutes 30 to 35 minutes everybody's oven is different so check your oven I'm going to try to get these as even as possible. This smells so good. That chocolate is so good, that cocoa. Okay, then we just take an offset spatula. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to pop them in the oven and I'll be back to show you the finished product. We're going to start the filling for these for the cake. Now the trick to this filling I have found from messing with it is that you have to beat it for a while, okay? You want to get a lot of air into it. And that just makes it real soft and creamy and fluffy. Okay, I am adding the shortening. Yes, shortening. And some butter, softened butter. We are going to cream this until very light and fluffy. Okay, 
guys, as you can see, this is very, very light and fluffy. And this is what you want to get the consistency that we need. You see that? Real nice and airy. Creamy. Okay, we're going to start adding in our uh, extract and the sugar. Okay, we're going to add in our salt, our vanilla, and we're going to start drizzling in the powdered sugar a little bit at a time. Just let this go. Add a little bit of milk and just let it go. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna add the rest of the powdered sugar. Just dump it all in there. And the rest of the little bit of milk that we have. And we're gonna whip this and then we'll scrape the bottom. That should be good right there. So that's the filling and we're just waiting for the cakes and we'll be right back. We are back. I have the cakes here. I have one here already on the turntable. I have the other one here. We're going to make our ganache. Here I have the chocolate chips. To the chocolate chips we're going to add the heavy cream. I've already warmed this up in the microwave. It's pretty hot. You can do this on the stove if you prefer. Okay, and we are going to put in our vanilla and our corn syrup. This is going to give it some shine. And then we're just going to whisk it until it's completely smooth. Okay, and there is our ganache. It's as easy as that. Okay, this is ready. This is the filling that we made earlier. And what I did is I took some and I put it into a piping bag with a little uh, number three Wilton tip and this is going to be what we are going to do for the swirls on the top. So I just put a little bit there on the side. We're going to start the cake by first adding the middle filling and you want to put a quite a bit of this on here. Okay, there we go. Just like that. You want to put, you know, quite a thick layer of the filling and then we're going to take our other cake. We're going to set it right on top. And this cake the only thing you do is you ice the top with the ganache. If you want to ice the sides, you can if you want to. That's up to you. Okay, and then we take our ganache and we're going to pour it on top. Look at that. And then just spread it out. I had a little bit left over here. If you want to sprinkle some after you cut the cake, you can. To get the little swirlies, you just take your little piping bag and I just go around nothing fancy. Okay, and that's it. You're gonna pop it into the refrigerator for it to set and we'll be back. Okay, everybody, we're back to cut this cake. Looks scrumptious. Okay, let's cut a piece of this cake so we can check it out. Okay, and there it is. Look at that. How delicious. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. It turned out to be very, very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's nice. It's moist. Uh, the filling is very creamy, real, really, really good. And the ganache is real rich. Just, I mean, just like everything a chocolate cake should be. It's very good. I hope you give it a try. All right, guys, that's going to conclude the video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give us that thumbs up and leave a comment. If you have any questions about the recipe, leave it in the comments below and I will get back with you. And don't forget to share with family and friends. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.